Today I want to talk to you about the one subject we all so love back in school growing up, and that is math. I'm Patrick Bay David, and today I want to talk to you about why I believe life is all about math. Now, I'm not talking about the math that most people think about. I'm not talking about the Pythagorean theorem where it's A squared plus B squared equals C squared or, you know, Einstein's E equals MC squared or pi, you know, 3.1415. Now, remember those days of pi or CPCTC. Do you remember CPCTC? Do you remember geometry? You got to prove all these theorems, you know, congruent parts of congruent triangles. Or con who cares if they're congruent, right? I think the only time we ever use geometry is when you play pool, if you do play pool. But anyways, don't get overwhelmed for a second here before I make my point to you. Hear me out first and see if this makes sense to you or not. I believe life is all about math, and I'll tell you why. Literally every single thing in life can be linked to math. And the reason why I love this is because the great thing about math is math formulas can be proven. See, there are many formulas in math that you got in algebra, math analysis, whatever it was, everything can be proven. And I will tell you, life is about the same way as well. So people say, well, give me a break, Pat. What do you mean life is all about math? You're telling me health is all about math? Of course. Everything about health is about math. How is health linked to math? Well, if I don't exercise, if I don't have a good diet, if I don't get enough sleep, if I don't eat the right things, there's a higher chance of me not being healthy. And if I exercise, I do the complete opposite, there's a higher chance of me being healthy, because health is all about math. If you think about even health, you may say, well, how about heart attacks? Or how about aneurysms? How about all these other stuff, diabetes? Some of it is math based on parents. Some of it is math based on a lot of different things. But there's a math formula to it. Career, that's all about math. If you get a college degree, you have a higher you know, percentage of getting a good job. If you're you know, hard-working companies are going to keep you. If you're all about working on yourself, you have a higher chance of keeping a job. It's all about math. Marriage. Some people say, well, Patrick, that's a little touchy subject. Listen, marriage is also all about math. It's all about math. If you don't work on your marriage and you no longer do date nights, there's a higher likelihood that marriage is not going to work out. If you don't tell your wife you love her or you, you know, husband you love them, there's a higher likelihood there's going to be problems eventually because it's a math formula. If you think about parenting, raising kids in a bad community, higher percentage of them seeing drugs and many other things. This doesn't mean they won't see it in a good community. They're still going to see it if they go to a private school because you know how the stories go. But it's a percentage because it's about math. In parenting, if you tell your kids you love them, you've heard that exercise. I talked about it a couple episodes ago about geniuses and kids, how kids are being told by parents how great they are, and kids who were raised by parents being told how terrible they are, the percentages of how those kids turned out, because it's about math. Finances, I don't even tell you that, that's all math. Love and dating, it's all about math. You may say, give me a break, love and dating. Well, listen, when you go on a date with a guy or a girl the first time, and you go through your questions, right? What happens when you go through your questions? You're doing a formula in your brain, and you say, you know, the last relationship he dated wasn't that good. And it ended pretty bad. And his last three of them all ended bad. Why is that? Is there something wrong with them? Is there something wrong with her? What about this? What about his parents? He's not close with his mom. He's not close. All this stuff is math that you do in your own mind is what you do. And don't tell me you and I haven't done it before. My wife did it with me knowing this was a risk she took, right? Happiness is all about math. If you're around happy people, there's a higher likelihood of you being happy. It's a basic formula. If you're around negative people who constantly complain, there's a very high likelihood of you'll be negative and you'll be miserable with life because it's a mathematical formula. Faith. Some of the biggest Christians are math math mathematicians. Some of the biggest spiritual people are all about math because they figured it out based on a mathematical formula. Both sides, by the way. Sports without math doesn't even belong. I mean, no one would even watch sports if there wasn't a leader's bulletin. If there was no scoreboard, people wouldn't be watching sports. It's all about math. The only reason we like sports is because somebody wins and somebody loses. Politics, do I even need to tell you how much of politics is about math when they do the calculations on what color tie to wear, blue or red? Do I wear jeans to relate to middle America because I'm talking to middle America? This is all politics. CNN, Fox, MSNBC, all math is what it's about. Business entrepreneurship is all about math. The list goes on. I can list everything. It's all about math. 
Now, instead of letting this overwhelm you, you just got to know, no matter what it is, any of this stuff that when we get married, I've been having conversations about this, what if it doesn't work out? What if it doesn't work out? Do you really know if it's going to work out? No. So there is some risk we all got to take. There is risk with marriage. There is risk with having kids nowadays. Do you realize all these sexting and Facebook and social media and pornography online? Man, there's a risk with parenting and raising kids. There's a risk with finances. There's a risk with health. There's a risk with career happiness. Everything, there's a risk. But there are some risks that you're willing to take and just don't put the pressure on yourself for having to 100% make it work because the risk is always going to be there. All you need to do is look for the math in any different aspects of your life. And in my opinion, it'll make and take more pressure off of you if you look at it in this way. You don't have to agree with it. Love to hear your thoughts about it. But that's my message of the week to you. And please, be sure to subscribe to this channel.